What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with another Matchbox Action Drivers playset. This is the brand new 2021 Matchbox Fire Station Rescue Set. This thing is super cool. Um, I've unboxed a couple of them, like the fuel station, which is actually back in the background here, in the hospital, um, which is right over here actually on the box. Um, both were really nice sets. They have really cool, um, just like retro inspired designs, even though they are new, they just look retro. Um, this is actually the biggest one um, these other two were $12.99, this is $19.99, but this also has doo -doo -doo, lights and sounds. So that's pretty rad. Um, it's always a nice extra to add lights and sounds to any playset. So there is the back of the box. You can kind of see what's going on. A lot of stuff in this one. Um, I was very impressed with the quality of the other two. So I'm really pumped to open this one. So it comes with a really nice fire department truck too. Um, so I'll do the same thing as I did last one. I'll unbox it, go through the contents, pause the video, and then put the stickers on, and then um, basically go back on the video and show you what it looks like completed. So go ahead and unbox it here. So I, I, there, like Mattel puts this on the back of the box where you press this tab in and open it, but I found that often doesn't fit the longer road pieces out of this smaller section. Um, so even though it tears the box up a little, I have been opening up from the back or from the side, not from the back. So here is the first piece. Um, it just looks like a little, oh, I don't know what exactly, it's like the little, might be the training tower and it's got a little flame that goes out the top. Right there, I don't know exactly. It was, oh, there it is. And we'll look at it in a second, so. All right, let's see here. This one does have a much bigger footprint than the other two. So there's the bag of um, like fire hydrants and other accessories. There is the stickers. Always a cool part. Most important part of the place is the stickers. Um, that looks like the side of a building. Let's see here, what else we got? So part of the base, which also has another one of the press the play features. So you press it down and it moves that um, action. Oh, it looks like it has a couple of these. So here is a, another one. This looks like a parking space. I haven't seen, I'm not sure which one that is. This thing is pretty large. Um, so this is gonna have a nice footprint. If it's this large, I mean, it's pretty big. So um, nice road, the sticker's already on this. That's nice. Um, since that would be a very difficult like one to keep straight, that's a very long sticker. So, um, instruction booklet. This actually has quite a bit of instructions, surprisingly, for a playset. Instruction booklet. Um, another piece of road or something. Um, a little matchbox sign. Let's see what else we have. Um, some other matchbox little sign. And I think... Oh no, I need to get the main part out. So the little tower part. Um, Oh, let's try. I'm going to go ahead and pop the box open just in case. Let's see how this is boxed here. Uh, so, okay, this one you actually have to open up from the back because it does have the little tabs that you remove. You just twist these little guys um, and they come out much better than the little ties and other things that were on there. So, man, these are super, like, there's so much packaging in these. Boom. Look at that, that's super nice. That looks very um, much like the hospital building, like the high rise style. Really nice decals on there. Um, or the stickers. Like a, there's the fire, um, like their lockers. Or their fire station that's like a workout center. There's a guy, might be hard to see. I'll go over this um, in a little more depth once. Oh, there's the call center. Oh, come on. And then there's a guy, I don't know if you can see that on a treadmill there, um, working out. But this is really cool. Looks like some garages to go down. This is cool. I'm excited to put this, put this together because this looks like it has a lot of action. There is the lights and sounds, of course, right there. There's the speaker in the back. So it looks like it has four little watch batteries it takes. So, okay. Well, let me, um, I'm going to take a break here and put all the stickers on and kind of assemble it. And then I'll come back and show you um, really what, what it looks like and the, all the uh, actions of it. So stay tuned here. Okay, so I want to show you this before I put it together because I'm afraid once it gets 
um, in clothes I won't be able to show this as much but there's a better look at that graphic of the firefighters working out in the workout room I think that's pretty cool um, it's like a simulated window with simulated brick and then you go down to the first level and it is the dispatch room and it even has like simulated wood and like vents in the ceiling and everything um, I thought that was a pretty cool little addition there and then even closer when you go over here there you can kind of see um, the firefighter lockers and the jackets there's a clock on the wall and there's even like a vent tube and stuff so Oh, there, I didn't even see that one. Um, there is a little door with the firefighter sliding down the pole, the classic, like, fireman's pole. So I thought that was pretty rad, but I wanted to show those off um, before I put it together just in case we weren't able to see it afterwards. All right, just got this beast finished up, and this thing is pretty impressive. So I'm going to go ahead and do, like, the 360 view of it. So technically this would be, like, the front of the fire station, two lovely fire station bay doors. Um, this is, it might be a little hard to see, but this is a Matchbox logo signed in with that, like, um, fake gravel, which I think is a pretty nice touch. The roads snap together nicely, and they also, I don't know if you can see this, um, on this end, it actually has the, um, connector slot for a Hot Wheels connector to go in there, like the blue tab right there and right there, which is nice. Um, turning it around to the side, you can see the street light, um, you have a, drive up ramp just like the um, gas station that's pressure mounted so you press on it and it opens the gate when you drive up so if you take the fire truck and like drive over it and then you can drive through which is pretty cool um, and then you have a stop sign and the little training tower over here but this is a, what I would call like a 360 play site you can play with it from every direction um, so when you go over here, you also have road connectors right here at this entrance and over here on this side too, so you can connect more play sets. Um, this has like a little lift gate so you can drive the car up into it. Um, and then this side, while it doesn't actually have anything, it does have a matchbox wall and then it has another track connector piece right here. So technically you can play with this whole thing. Um, which is pretty cool because it is, it's a quite a large play set. It's a, probably a foot by a foot at least. Um, so I'll try to go through the um, details as best as I can here. So like I said, this is the easiest one to show. Um, you put pressure on the little gate here and then it just, boop, let's see, where am I going? Right there, and it just pops up and you drive back. And then once you're in there, there is a little, I'm gonna let's see, oop. There is a, um, this is like a water filler that you, can fill up fill up the truck at like this and it just comes down so it's a it's a nice little play feature and this is the what is this blaze blitzer um fire truck i'm gonna make sure i read that yeah blaze blitzer from matchbox really nice tampos um oh it would help if you could see it um really nice truck it's a fantasy truck but it's really high quality it rolls nicely it just it just has a really nice look to it so this is a quality like I'm happy with this. Fantasy or not, it's it's a nice casting. So, um, so you go basically you go through the back gate there, get it filled up there, and then there is an air machine um, that you can go and then you press this little lever down, you pull up the truck, and then you can fill the truck up with air. Um, in the case that the truck, I believe, if you can't hook it to a fire hydrant, that the air helps propel the water. Um, I don't know a ton about newer fire trucks, so that would be my guess. I don't really know why an air pump would be there, um, but that's what I'm assuming. So that's the cool part about that. And then you go around to this side, and I will show you the back. So this is what the back of the fire station looks like, and you can see that there are two pressure pads on each side of the fire, like the fire station. So um, another cool factor about this is, I don't know, let me see if I can make it brighter. Um, they put little details, so there's like a rolled up hose right here, another rolled up hose, um, some fire equipment over here, like a fire extinguisher, a jacket, just some really cool um, plastic features built into that that I thought that was a nice touch. There's a little hose right there behind the, um, the pump, so I thought that was kind of cool little addition. And then you have the giant um, Matchbox logo right in the center, uh, which I think is a nice touch too. So then, um, when you put the fire truck behind here on this gate, like I said, it's a pressure mount. So then when you put the truck there, I'm kind of, I'm trying to do like a 360 play view of it. So when you drive the truck up right here, you put the pressure on the pad. Whoop. There you go. And the, it keys both doors to go up and it lets the tower know and then that's like the sign it like does the lights and sirens and such so um it's pretty cool i'll press it again 
Oh, my hand was in the way, my bad. Boom. So if you notice, it actually said fire on the training tower because it wants you to drive around the block um, to the fire station here and then use, basically use all of the activities. So you go like this, you open the gate, whoop, drive through, and then as you go around, you lift this up on the little fire training tower. It's a nice little like glowy flame with some like orange, weird orange uh, accents to it. And then you put the truck, you drive around, you fill up everything, and then you drive through the tower like so. Boom, and then the fire goes out. So I thought that was pretty cool. This is the only one, this is fully like seated in there, but it is moving a little bit, but it's not so bad. I actually think it adds a little bit to like it burning down. So um, there it is a little, boom, which is cool. And then it has like a little, um, I don't know, like curve. So it doesn't go straight out back at, it's supposed to like go out towards the road. It works okay. Um, but I really like this set. There's a lot of nice detail to it. The stickers in here are really nice. Um, it has a really thick plastic, like it's a high quality plastic. It feels very durable. Um, the base is nice. It's built of that same durable plastic. The doors on this are really nice. The action feels solid. It feels like you could play with it for a while um, before it would wear out. And then this, I mean, I would assume this is just like you could park a, like, park a car in there if you wanted it. It doesn't really say you could, um, but there's room for it. So the matchbox, again, on the back fence right there. Just a lot of really nice play detail. Like even on the, the tower here, you can see, I'm gonna try to make sure I zoom in on it so you can see it. Um, just like the detailing of like the wire and the piping throughout the whole thing makes it just a, a touch more real than just putting like a plastic back on it with, with, you know, like just like this with nothing. So I really like that they added those features on there. To me, it just, it just shows the quality that and of design that went into building this um, play set. So this thing is super cool. Um, I really like it. It has room for, I mean, you could park one, two, three, four. You could probably park close to 10 vehicles in this overall um, while you are playing with it, which is really a really nice like play factor for that. Um, let me and let me grab the other playset so I can attach it to. Okay, so check this out. This is awesome. So these are all three of the play sets connected together and this is only one of the setups. You could technically, I mean, there's just countless because you could connect them over here, over here, over here. Um, but I thought this was cool. So this is the fuel center um, attached to the fire station and then the fire station attached to the medical, like the hospital, helicopter medic rescue. Um, so there's stoplights on both streets. I just think this is a really cool setup. I really like the way they've done it. Um, and like I said, there's Hot Wheels hookups over here and then you could change this to in front over here in case you wanted to like leave this part open to, to do more firefighting over there. And then as you turn it, I mean, the play factor just increases. So you just, I mean, there's like acres of play area if you were to scale it out. It's huge. It's definitely two feet long. It's, I mean, it's really a large play set now. So if you had a whole city, like if Matchbox comes up with like five or six more of these, this is going to take up a table and it's going to be awesome. Like there's just gonna be so much detail that we're gonna be able to play with um, and make a whole city. And I really, really am liking this. Um, I hope we get at least three more so we can make like a complete, oh my bad, like two city blocks um, of buildings, but this is awesome. So the, the fireplace, or the fireplace, the fire station is definitely um, like the key piece in the center because it is, as you can see, like, you know, when you compare it to the other two, it's like the other two put together into one. So um, again, not bad for the 1999 price point. Um, these each were 12.99. They came with the the cars respectively and the ambulance. Um, but this one has lights, noise, actions, the the two blocks, and it comes with this really rad fire truck. So Matchbox is killing it on the play sets. Really pumped about this one. This one's going to make some great play time. So. 
Awesome. Well, let me know what you think of it uh, in the comments if you bought this or if you have another one like it because Matchbox did make one last year. I might need to do a um, review of it that had like the microphone and you could speak. It was very similar, but I ended up buying this one because it was just too cool. Like in the fact that it connects together is even better. So um, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, again, I thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Appreciate the likes and subscribes, all that good stuff. Uh, follow me on Instagram at 64wheels. Also like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.